luck. And you just I won. Know. I know. Like, immediately. But you know, I know when I see you at these awards, you're just going to win. No, that's not true. No, you it's at, no. What's going to happen? Yeah, but are I'm, you pretending not knowing? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, because, I mean, look, we, we were in a field with some very strong documentaries. That's Alana Sabumsa win. Chelsea McMullen yeah. is, is an old student of mine. I taught her at York University. I was amazed and thrilled that she was part of this. I loved my prairie home. So, you know, for us, it's always a, a surprise, and it's always extremely gratifying to be recognized. Like, to be recognized by the film critics was a huge thing. And we weren't, God, we weren't expecting that. And then to be recognized here by the peers in your industry um, means that you're work is resonating with people and that is really rewarding yeah I, uh, I go on Netflix regularly and I'm very pleased to see that they have a really good Canadian documentary oh, yeah. section and I think we tell really good stories in in documentary ways and I want to know um, how audiences can connect with the films like watermark seems a bit vague like as a name so like you know unless you know what the story is about like, how can audiences kind of find this stuff out? I know the NFB is a great spot, usually. Um, we have worked on all of our films with Mongrel Media, a fantastic Canadian distributor who have a great deal with Netflix. They're always ahead of the curve in the ever-changing media landscape. Um, so I think, you know, when people see a film that they like, they should take a look at who's distributing that film. Mm -hmm. and that person's taste will probably reflect similar films and they'll be able to find more films with that distributor. Um, and I mean the internet is the, is the great uh, search engine and aggregator of, of like-minded um, you know values and builder of communities so if yeah, you like you if you like a certain type of documentary you're going to be able to find different ones by searching it out and I think that that really helps the small independent producers like ourselves find an audience. Well, I'm going to see here next year, so my question is, what are you working on? Well, I, I'm, I've gone on record as saying that I'm on sabbatical, but it's kind of hard to be on <laughs> sabbatical. Like I, 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 I love being with our kids and hanging around and not taking off all the time, but I feel like, I don't know, there's something. And Nick is busy all the time, so it's not like he ever goes on sabbatical. So, um, We'll see. Nothing. We'll see. No not answering my like God, no. Nothing, no, nothing public no, yet. Of, yes. Uh, but I will say that when you were talking about documentaries like that, you know, who was it who made the case? It was Michael McMahon who said that documentaries should be designated as Canada's art form. And I think that the reason that I like that is not just because we have this incredibly rich history of documentary film, mostly associated with the National Film Board, but that I do think Canadians have a capacity to have a perspective on the world that is not seen through the lens of their own national identity. I think that we have an empathetic perspective that allows us to see things clearly and to convey them to people. And, um, and that's why I would argue that he was right. And I do think that, and I hope that we continue to support and support even more um, especially feature length docs which are in danger. Uh, well, in this you know, country. but it's becoming my new favorite thing. Like I love a good fiction story, but honestly, a documentary almost it gives back so much more. So I, f I feel like, you know, you've not only watched something that's entertaining, you've learned so much. Like I watch Payback, you feel the gravity of those stories and Watermark, you feel the gravity of those stories. So I don't know whether it's 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 is it exti going extinct because it's just it's hard models. to make them. It's the way that it's the way that television works now. It's it's anything that requires a long time and a lot of reflection. This film took three and a half years to make. I mean, that, that in order to to reach that depth, you need time. And and uh, you know, it's not like we're drinking champagne in the Caribbean or whatever. <laughs> like we're 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 really working close to the bone all yeah. the time um, to, to, to do this work and there are a lot of other documentarians in Canada that are doing exactly that too so we need to boost it up a bit. Well congratulations on your win. I will see you next year, sabbatical or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks,